up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. What's up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. We're here again at the Sit Down Podcast. We have a very special guest, Brittany Boyd. How's it going? Good. Thank you for having me. Um, thanks for coming down. Uh, so obviously you have a pretty, you know, extreme career in basketball. Uh, so take the people back a little bit to um, mm -hmm. the beginning, like how mm -hmm. you got started in the hoop and then what age you were and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so pretty much I started playing back in, I'd say I probably like five, six. Um, I started playing at the YMCA in Richmond. Okay. Um, and then my mom just, pretty much my mom just put me in sports, um, gave me something to do. Um, I had a lot of energy as a kid, so it was just like, you know, going, put me in a lot of sports, which was like going basketball and just fell in love with basketball and then just made my way up, started playing on, the, on an AAU team. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, so what was the first AAU team that you played with? Um, so I only played for the California Ballers. Gotcha. Um, that's the only AAU team I ever played for. That's fine. Um, yeah, so really enjoyed the process of playing AAU, being able to travel, meet new people. Um, I met some of my best friends through AAU. What, um, how did that kind of happen? Like, how'd you meet the coach and mm -hmm. did somebody see you play and want to sign you up? How'd that go? Yeah, um, so I met Coach Leroy through a mutual friend that we had. Um, I went to school. Uh, with some of my friends mm -hmm. um, and then it was like yeah we got this guy he's putting on a basketball team and um, we started playing or practicing we started going to practice and then eventually we started playing playing attorneys and sack um, and yeah that's pretty much how I just at this point that. are you taking it serious at all or are you just oh, like no I'm just playing like just, I'm probably nobody's like, like teaching you the right way y'all just, just out be, there yeah just okay. having to be playing like we was getting blown out by like <laughs> It was like 100 to 30. With like, the ballers or with your high with your yeah. school? Oh, really? At yeah, first? Yeah, we was young. Like, when we first started playing. Were y'all playing up? No. Oh, y'all was but, just terrible. But, yeah, we were absolutely terrible. And then eventually we started playing up, and then we just started getting good. Like, started really hooping. At what point do, did you start, like, working on your game and stuff like mm -hmm. that? Is it around this time? No, I started really working on my game once I got to high school. Oh, okay, high school. Um, that's when I'm like, when you got to start lifting weights and right. really conditioning. And I like, didn't lift weights at all in high school. Right. I didn't start lifting weights till college. Yeah, I, I really, really started lifting weights in college, but high school they tried to make yeah, lift yeah, weights. Yeah, like, I know what you but mean. It is a different level. Yeah, it wasn't like that was my everyday routine. Um, so, first high school you go to is what again? Uh, the first high school I went to was Hercules. Hercules, because uh -huh. you're from Richmond, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, um, and I went to Hercules, and then my um, sophomore year, I transferred to Berkeley High. What made you transfer? Um, just better opportunity for school. Was Hercules good? And Hercules, we were solid. We made to the playoffs. Like, we was cool. We was you started as a freshman? Mm-hmm. So I came in, started as a freshman. You know, had a really good freshman year, um, and then transferred to Berkeley High and it's just better opportunity all the way around basketball school work is the does the Cal Ballers thing have anything to do with you going to Berkeley High um no tell the I, truth I wouldn't say no <laughs> 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 no I mean we just also happen to be yeah same bet. place same time <laughs> did you that know? coach have any um, like why Berkeley nah. High I mean he wasn't coaching there did um, he know the and coach and then most of the people already went to Berkeley High so I was the last person to come in and gotcha. you know so um, did you have to sit out? I had to sit out my, yeah, I did sophomore have to sit year. out. Yeah, my sophomore year I had to sit out. So you didn't play at all? I played probably like the last two games. Damn. Um, but yeah, that whole season I sat out, they had, it was just like this big old Issue debate. with your transfer? Yeah, I had to like hire an attorney. For real? Was yeah, that serious? Yeah, it was like, because trying to get me to play and they weren't having it. CIS. Damn. Yeah, that was. I went through that a little bit when I transferred to Mac, but it wasn't, mm -hmm. I didn't have to go that far. Yeah. Because my I, granny lived right across the street, mm -hmm. so they couldn't say nothing. Yeah, now they was trying to, like, they were doing home visits on me. Like, Damn. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it worked out. I mean, I know was the it, was it now. Was it Hercules doing it or just yeah, people? Yeah, it, it was Hercules and it was just They people. didn't want you to leave. And yeah, then, and they yeah. didn't want to go to Hercules. That's the same conference, right? Uh, yep. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. but, so, um, yeah, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was talking to somebody about that the other day. It's like people, you got to understand, people are doing what's best for themselves mm -hmm. at that time, what they mm -hmm. think is best. Right. Not saying what you're doing is wrong, mm -hmm. but I feel like this will better suit my career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so how was that sitting out? Was that tough for you? Uh, yeah, it was tough. I, um, <laughs> like, you know, just want to play. That's all I was really worried about. Um, and so that was hard. Um, but I tried to, like, like, I tried out for the tennis team. Really? I did. <laughs> did you make it? I made it, but there was like that I wasn't going to be able to play in that many matches. 
Uh, so, so you was, was like, like the manager? Not. Nah, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be a team. I was going to be on team, but yeah, I, I was like, nah, I'm not finna do What made me. you pick tennis? I never did tennis before. You just wanted to do I something. I just wanted to randomly do it. So That's I dope, tried though. doing tennis. Then I, um, I tried out for the soccer team because, you know, basketball and soccer is the in the same, same season. So I tried Is this because you like team. psyching yourself out? No, nah, just give me something to do. So I won't be saying you, Had you ever played soccer before? I did. I oh, played okay. when I was younger. Were you so. good? Yeah, I was nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you make so, the soccer team at Berkeley? I don't think so. Yes, you did. I did? University. I did? <laughs> and it was mad you didn't want to play. Oh, I guess I did make it. So you made remember. it and didn't want to play? Yeah, I guess I made it and didn't want to play. So. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how was sophomore <laughs> summer? At this point, are you getting recruited and stuff? Mm-hmm. I'm getting recruited. Um, Who was your first letter from? My first, first letter was from North Carolina. Wow. Um, and it was just like, hey, we watched you play. We're yeah. interested in you. You know, the basic the letter they sent, they everyone, sent to everybody. Yeah, but when I first got it, I was just like. Are you like yeah. traveling at this point? Mm hmm So like. When did you start traveling? When we started traveling, we probably started traveling maybe ninth grade, ninth grade. tenth grade. Um, and like now we're going to like New Orleans, mm. Oregon, um, we, you know, Vegas. We, um Tennessee, yeah, Virginia. Yeah, so now you guys are on, like we're trying to, on a circuit now. Yeah, we're on a circuit. We're in the Nike tournaments, you right. know. We're getting seen by top colleges, playing against the top teams, playing up. So, um, yeah, we started, you know, just figuring it all out. At this point, are you starting to realize, like, okay, this is something I want to do, like, long term? Mm -hmm. Or did that already happen already? Yeah, no, nah, it didn't really hit me. Um, as far as long term, like, make a career out of it, out of it, it didn't hit me to a college that, really? like, this is something that I want to you know, want to do long, long time. Okay, the, I understand the want, but at what point mm -hmm. did you feel like maybe it could be a possibility? College. College? Mm -hmm. Damn. So all that, all throughout high school when you're killing, mm -hmm. you like, I still might not be good enough? Is that um, how you feeling? Or is high it school, just... I'm trying to get scholarship. I'm trying to, you know, make sure my mom and my dad don't have to worry about, you know, figuring out how they're going to pay for college. Right. Um, you know, I'm trying to get the best opportunity for myself. Um, yeah. So, how was that summer then? Obviously, did you kill the circuit? Um, yeah, uh, we had a really good circuit um, that year. We had a really good team. We were pretty stacked. Um, and, you know, we went to different places. Virginia, Oregon. Um, and, we, you know, we did what we could. Right. Um, I think a couple of we played in the championship game. And a couple of them probably didn't win. At this but, time, who were the top Bay Area teams? Like AU teams, do you um, remember? California, Ball is Us. Who is it? EBX. Okay, I heard it now. Um, San Francisco Rebels. Oh, the they, Rebels. their girls were good too? The Rebels, yeah, they were oh, okay. good. They were pretty good. Um, what other Bay Area girl teams are there? I don't know. <laughs> what other Bay Area girl? I don't know. Oh, Mission Rack. They're not I've San heard Francisco of them Rebels? Too. Oh, Mission Rack. Okay. Mission Rack, Mission Rack. I've heard of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that's... What are that, so, obviously, some San Francisco Rebels is out of San Francisco. Where's Mission Rack from? San Francisco. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm, the city. Um, so, how is it coming into junior year now? You, are you having to adapt to it? I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. you guys play together all summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, junior year, I'm able to play. Um, it's going pretty good for high school. You ever talk about high school? So, yeah, it's going pretty good. We have a pretty good season. Um, we end up going to like the semifinals that year. End up losing, didn't make it to the state. You remember who you lost to? No. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Mm mm. Somebody else took him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the game before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um. So, was that? How um how so then how was that junior summer then going into junior now obviously the same mm -hmm. team you guys are probably the best that you that you mm -hmm. are now yeah, yeah yeah so that same team um junior so this is actually the year that I verbal what? to Cal right 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 we talked about uh -huh, that we did. Know, what was and, the reason for that uh, as far as just going to Cal or like just, to the, the decision to like why early um why well early. early like I said before, like my mom, she was just so adamant about Cal and just understanding that um, at that time it was a it, it was a good decision for me and I understand me being 18, 17, you don't want to go and see other places or want right. to go and see, but 
not also not understanding that that same phone call me telling you I'm not coming to your school is just as hard. Right. Um, so she wanted me to, she wanted me to go to Cal and she forced me out the house. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was your number one at this time? And at this time, my number one was Washington. Washington. And, mm-hmm, were you kind of were you kind of like rebellious at first to going to Cal? Or was like whatever. Yeah, I was. Said, I was, because it's like, this is not something I want to do right now. Like, mm-hmm. You know, I was having fun with the recruiting process. I was enjoying it, but now that I look back, it was just like, that was what's best for me at that time. Did you finish all your visits? No, I didn't. I didn't take one visit, except to Cal. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So you commit to Cal, does that, mm-hmm. is that like a stress reliever? Because now, cause like you said, mm-hmm. at first you're trying to say, okay, yeah. I'm playing for a scholarship, but now you got the scholarship, mm-hmm. so now are you going into senior year like... With a load off? Not really, because it's like it's still college coaches reaching out, like, hey, you know, you can always take it back. You can <laughs> right. always, you know, so it's just Did like. Did you think about it ever? I did think about it. It's like, and then um, the coach that recruited me to Cal, the head coach, she mm-hmm. ended up leaving. Yeah, she ended up leaving Cal before I got there. For but that summer? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. The summer before I got to Cal. Right. She ended up leaving. And, um,. We got a new coach. And then I was like, at first I was like, I'm gone. Like, right. I'm out. Like, I'm not finna. But then uh, new coach, Lindsay, called me. And then we had, a, like, a wonderful conversation. And everything. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to just stay with Kyle. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. You're bold for that. I probably would have <laughs> got out of there. Yeah, nah. Um. So how was that going into, wait, how did senior year go? In high school? Yeah. Yeah. So high school, we got to the state championship, didn't win. Who'd you lose um, to, you remember? Modern day. Um, they were stacked. Um, yeah, they were actually a pretty good team. L.A. Um, How much you guys lose by? You remember? Was it close? <laughs> 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 I lost by a lot in the state know, championship yeah. game know. too. I don't know. I just recently saw a picture of me crying in the really? state. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> After the I state, understand. like yeah. my my like on just the bench, mad as hell. we were down eighteen. Like it was like one mm-hmm. of those games where it just couldn't make a shot. We shouldn't have lost. Man. Mm-hmm. It's one of those games that still hum me to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously you guys <laughs> didn't play well. Mm-hmm. So at this point now, it's like, okay, it's time to get ready for college. Mm-hmm. Who are you working out with at this time? If right anybody. now, I'm not really working out with nobody. At this point? At, at this point, senior, I'm not senior, really, really? You just hooping? Yeah. Like, There's nobody like right trying now, to tone kinda, your game up? Right really? now, I'm kind of on and off. I was on and off. Like Sometimes I work out with KP, but I wasn't really working with Fully nobody. I wasn't, it wasn't like... You know. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Yeah. I just. I feel you. I don't know. I just, I had AAU, yeah. you know, and I felt like, you know, yeah. it probably would have been better if I did get someone, you know, younger mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. to expand. But then, you know, once I got to college and stuff and then that's like that when first you got, year, yeah. and I'm like, oh, I need to start expanding. And that's when then like KP, like, you know, and then. I started becoming regular. Mm-hmm. So how was that summer coming in? Are you like nervous going into freshman, freshman year at all? Freshman year, no, I'm just ready to be in college. I'm ready to to start the new beginning. Yeah. Um, you know, you're staying home, so I guess it's yeah, not I'm staying that. home. Um, See, I went out of state, so I was like, I wasn't nervous, but it was mm-hmm. a little pressure. I mean, it's like the thing what I what I say most, like yeah, I stay at home, but I was never home. Like mm-hmm. I was home. But I wasn't home because I was always on school. I was always busy. I always had something to do. So it was like, it's different. Right, you feel me? Right. So, um, yeah. Did you move to the dorms immediately? Yeah, I had to. I had to stay in the first, my first year in the dorms. Like the coaches forced you to? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's like mandatory. You got to stay in the dorms your first year. Your f- yeah, your first year. So how was how was adjusting to the, the game, like your first was did you have like one of those conditionings where you like growing up and mm-hmm. you did? Mm, I had a couple along the way during like, my <laughs> college experience. Yeah, I probably did have a couple of my rookie year. I mean, my freshman, freshman year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think mean, when I came in, I didn't really understand the like the conditioning aspect of it. Mm. You know, like you waking up at six a.m., running three miles, like then. I only get to sleep for an hour, take an hour break, <laughs> and then you want me to come in and live with, like, I had my body, my mind, had to get used my to attitude it. had to adjust to it and get used to it, and, like, this is life now, like, it's a change. It's were you happen. fighting it at first, or were you just I, one of those? At first I was. I was just like, bro, like, I'm here to hoop, like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's not, what's waking up at 6 a.m. different from waking up at 9 a.m.? Right. You know, but it's a mindset, right. and um, I had to get that mindset along the process of, you know, 
doing it over and right. over and understanding what I'm getting out of it is deeper than just a three mile. So. Yeah, I used to feel that way too at first, and now I still wake up hella early. Like I'm up by five a.m., mm -hmm. five thirty at the latest every day. I wake up at like seven, yeah. six thirty. Yeah. And now I prefer to work out early in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's <laughs> me too. Like I would prefer, literally, I would prefer to get my work out done early. It's so like then the day by, is better. By twelve, one o'clock, I'm free. Yeah. I did what I needed to do. Now I can, you know, Just go my we'll do whatever. Business. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So how was like practice? Are you adjusting to like the different speeds? Like, it's a different level of play, yeah. obviously. At this point. Uh -huh. And it's a pretty high level. Being mm -hmm. the, is it the Pac-10 at that point or already the Pac-12? It's the Pac-12. It's right? Pac-12 at this point. Uh, yeah, speed, stronger, faster, like, you know. The competition level is a lot different from high school. You know, everybody's good in college, but it's, uh, it's just how you work with it and um, what's best for your team and uh, just the game plan that your coaches uh, give bring to you. You get to a point, well, if I'm thinking back when I was that age, mm -hmm. um, like the stronger, the faster, like everybody is somewhat good. Everybody is somewhat decent. Right. Um, and can put the ball in the hoop. Mm -hmm. um, now it's not like that, that big of a margin of a between gap. the talent. Yeah. yeah that's you know, a good point. Unless, and, and once, then once you get like used to it, then you start creating those mm -hmm. different You start figuring out. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that, I think that was like my really main adjustment of just knowing, um, the situation of what's going on um and committing to it right um, how was um how how'd you guys do your freshman year were you pretty good yeah my freshman year we made it to the second round of the ncaa tournament wow I, honestly i think it's a blessing you know because it's always been my dream to uh play an ncaa tournament and now i'm finally here and uh it's something i've been looking forward to so i just think it's a blessing and i'm very honored to be playing in it uh -huh. Who was like the main player at this point? For who? You guys. For us? Oh, who was it? Leja. Okay, that's so the one with the Mohawk. With the right? Mohawk. She had a Mohawk then, yeah, Leja. So that was what, her junior year? Or? That was her junior year, yeah. Uh -huh. um, she was like our scorer. Mm -hmm. um, she could shoot it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two guard, could shoot it. Um, yeah, so she was like our main, our key player. Got us Did, so you came in playing point? Uh-huh, came in As a freshman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was... It was challenging, but it was cool learning how to, you know, adjust to running a team, running right. a, a collegiate team, right. um, talking. Because when I came in, I didn't really talk because I didn't really know nobody. Right. I went, you know, just just off how I move, mm -hmm. you know, and just I got to fill you out before right. I get to hee hee and hang right, with right, you. Right. Um, so, yeah, like I just I was very like just kind of, you know, Observed, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then eventually, so that kind of hurt me in the beginning because it's just like I wasn't, I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. I'm not trying to, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's something else I had to learn is just also a mindset. Also, who cares? You know, like just right. that process of it, um, of learning and growing in the game. I mean, how was playing in the tournament for the first time? It was fun. Like, I had super fun. And that Were you was like my first overwhelmed time. at all? Yeah, it was my first time flying charter. Really? Mm hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, we flew charter. Like, <laughs> so that was cool. Um, That's what's up. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, we don't fly charter. <laughs> well, they probably do now. I don't know. Yeah, I'm but probably. back then uh, we was on Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> For real, <laughs> we was on Southwest. Um. So obviously, you guys losing the second round, and how is the next year coming in? Are you mm -hmm. feeling more, a little I bit more prepared coming into like training camp or whatever? Yeah, we, off season, whatever definitely. you want to call it. Because we didn't um, bring any freshmen in mm. going into my sophomore year, so we were Damn. all mm -hmm. so we was so the juniors were turning seniors, the sophomore were turning juniors, the freshmen were turning sophomores, and it was no freshmen. Wow. So we were experienced. We had you know depth. Um, this coach walked into a good situation. Yeah, very good situation. Um, and she also just knew how to use the pieces right. um, of you know making it work. And we had a we was ranked that year was ranked like top five in the country. Oh wow! Uh, so we were really good. Um, what, do you know what the highest cows ever been ranked? That was the highest. Really? I think so. Yeah. That's what's up. I definitely think so. Sophomore year, we went to told the other sophomore year we ended up going to uh, the final four, and I was in New Orleans. And how was that? It's fun. <laughs> It was it was really fun. It was a good experience just yeah. to be around and see and just to get to say you got to be a part of that moment. Right. Um, that especially sense. if just, you know, this is what everybody watches, this is what everybody dream of being a part of, like, you know, of going to college and 
I want to be part of that Final Four, you right. feel me? So, especially if you basketball. Did you guys win the uh, Pac-12 that year? We didn't. Did we, you win the regular season? We won the regular season, but we lost didn't the tournament win it. We lost in the tournament. But the crazy part about it is we lost in the tournament, but it set us up good for the season for the NCAA tournament. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so did y'all like, lose on purpose? No, nah, we was actually <laughs> trying to win. We was mad because we was like, we trying Obviously to, you it's win the tournament. Song, we trying to win a Pac-12 because we never won a Pac-12 championship. So we trying to win right. um, a championship. So we was hot. We lost. We was hot. But then it all worked out. Yeah. Who'd you lose to? We lost to UCLA. UCLA. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they had. First round of the tournament. If not, it's not a big deal. Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, Texas Tech. They were good that year, huh? South Florida. Then we went on to play Georgia and somebody else. I forgot. Were you guys winning these games like comfortably? In LSU. Were there some tight no, ones? No, it was some tight ones. The one to go to the Final Four was like. Who was that against? Water. That was just Georgia. Georgia. Mm -hmm. And then who'd you play in the Final Four? Louisville. And we mm -hmm. lost by like six. Weren't you guys winning that game or we something? Were. <laughs> yeah. We were. I was looking at an article mm -hmm. uh, on that game. Uh, so so then, how was that losing in the final four to come that, that close? Was tough. Yeah, that, that would have been tough. devastating. Like, we for sure should have won. That was really tough. Like it was. I look back at it now. It's like, damn. <laughs> you see what you could have done wrong, but it's also you look and you just it's see an the experience, the experience yeah. that you had with that process. You feel me? So it's like well, in that moment I felt mad, but. At the end, like it, it made something out of me. After you losing the final four, how was that mm -hmm. off season? Are you like more determined now? Um, yeah. Like, I'm are more you determined. coming in more focused, mm -hmm. like in the off season yeah. and stuff? Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm trying to come in more focused. I'm trying to, you know, like, you know, I want to mm -hmm. get back there. Mm -hmm. I understand that feeling, but also understand that I got some rookies. Sorry, I keep calling rookies. I got some <laughs> I freshmen. Know what you mean. I got some freshmen coming in, and now I have to be that vocal leader. Interception by Brittany Boyd. She ran perfectly one on one. Reverse lane is good. There's Boyd pushing the pace down the middle of the lane. The layup is good. Off the court and on the court, like I've definitely matured, especially on the court. Um, just becoming a better leader, you know, for my teammates. Um, we kind of have a young team right now um, with some freshmen. So I'm a junior now, so the only thing for me was to step up and um, become a leader. Um, as the point guard, because um, you know the ball is in my hand most of the game, but just trying to have guidance um, for the young freshmen and you know trying to be a better role model for them and also a role model for the community. I just think you know a lot of people were telling me you know you know you got to step up, you got to step up, you got to step up, and you know I finally realized I, I think like over the summer, kind of like when the freshman came, I was like you know what I have to, I do have to step up if we want to have a good season. Yeah, the freshman for the Bears. Boyd off the dribble, rattles it in. And for three, it's Boyd. When Malaysia was here, she was like the person I looked up to as a freshman. She was a junior, I was a freshman, so that's who I looked up to. And her going hard every single rep, and it showed in the game. So I kind of translated that over, you know, finally my junior year, like go hard all the time. And is going to help me excel in my game. So her leadership skills um, off the court, kind of being an outlet sometimes, you know, like sending Bible verses and stuff like that to help me. So I try to, you know, translate that over to our freshmen now that I'm a junior and see where it takes us. To be able to play in front of my family and friends and stay close to home, it, 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 was, a, it was a good choice for me. Um, so I, I, I just, I really appreciate, you know, the people who helped me get here, my family, God, and um, friends, so. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Oh, because, um, what's her name? Malaysia graduated. They graduated. Tyler she graduated. graduated. Yeah. You know, so they're gone now. I have to be that vocal leader now. I have to be that example now. Was I'm that tough position. at first to tr transition it to? It was, because it's just like, I, not, I can't just worry about myself. I yeah. got to worry about the five people on the court, the five people on the bench. You right. feel me? So just learning how to communicate, um, get people involved, know when to insert myself, know when to, mm. you know, um, when that person, so I keep on feeding them, you know, mm -hmm. just stuff the little like, stuff. It's the little things. Of the now game. you like, you have to be like a real pure point mm -hmm. guard mm -hmm. because you instead have to know, just playing. right. Instead of just playing because and leaning on another leader, you have person, to, you mm -hmm. have to dictate everything in dictate. the game. That's yep. a good point. So I'm controlling everything and setting the tone on defense. Right. You know, it's just right. like a lot e comes to me. Mm -hmm. 
Um, did you feel like overwhelmed at any point? Like, um, I never felt overwhelmed. Like, I actually enjoyed the process of it. I enjoyed, you know, like that's something I wanted, um, and I gracefully like accepted it. Right. Um, but did times get like frustrating? It's like, yeah, it did, because like I'm not playing how I want to play. Right. But yet I know I gotta keep this keep it like I'm I'm good like I'm mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. I'm you know like everything straight so that's a game yeah that makes <laughs> sense. um so how how was that year where the freshmen like where they bought in especially coming off what being mm -hmm. top five in the country it's like yeah you know what it takes so hopefully mm -hmm. they come in with respect yeah they came in but it's just like freshman any, being any freshman, freshman yeah. like you know like I wasn't the easiest freshman like you know like right. so Freshman being freshman, they also have to, you could t tell them so much, but they got to learn on their own mm -hmm. um, and figure it out. So. And then it's about breaking habits, mm -hmm. too, because they built these habits up mm -hmm. after all these years of playing. Mm -hmm. We so, all come from these different backgrounds. Exactly. Like, you know, exactly. I don't know how your mama ran your right, house. Like, right. you know. No, so. for sure. So how was um how was that year then, junior year? Did you How'd you guys do? You remember? Yeah, we went to the second round of the NCAA tournament. That's pretty big. Uh -huh. We did cool. We, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you feel like that was like you guys overachieved, underachieved, or, or um, it was like you were just content? Like, hey, we, we was content. Yeah. I wouldn't say we underachieved. I wouldn't say we overachieved. We were content. Like we, we got where we needed to. We played a really tough team. Team that was better at at, at a better, better than us mm -hmm. at that moment, and they won. You know. Um. So, losing in the second round. How was this summer as a senior? Mm -hmm. Senior. It's like I know that I got a chance to get drafted. Um, is that a little pressure? No, it's not pressure. I think it's like more so motivation. Mm -hmm. um, as far as just like, it's my opportunity. Right. You know, not too many people get this opportunity. Not, not too many people have, you know, these people coming knocking on their doors mm -hmm. and calling them, seeing, you know, if they could, if you could fit into their program. Right. So. Um, so now you're freshman or sophomore, so are you expecting to be a little better, like to compete? Yeah. So you, uh, my now my freshman or yeah, sophomore. Yeah. Yeah. Of just and also understanding like you know what it takes, what it's going, you know, mm -hmm. um, and they eventually figured it out and started playing. And then that's my senior year, we made it to the second round as well, and just played a bad game, like overall just bad game. You remember who you lost to? Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. Were they good that year? They were solid. Would, would, we should have won. won. So you guys won the OEO, I mean OEO, the Pac-12 cha uh, championship? That year, no. How far did you make it? We made it to the Pac- We made it to the championship game at the Pac-12 tournament. You remember who you lost to? Stanford. Stanford. Were you guys ever top? So you guys were top 25 because you got an automatic mm -hmm. bid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So throughout my whole college career, we were, like early, my freshman year early and we weren't, Top 25, but then throughout the whole process, we've been top 25. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So, um, at what point did you play with the USA team? Because I saw that, too. Mm -hmm. I played with them when I was 16. So Really? I that early? Out, yeah. I try, well, I tried out for the 16U team mm -hmm. um, in Colorado. Did you make it? No, I didn't oh, make okay. it. Yeah, but it was, it was cra cool Crazy job. experience. Yeah, 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 it was cool. That's what's up. Um so back to senior year. So now senior year is over, and now it's time to be, get ready to become a pro. At this point, do you say like are you kick it up a notch, or mm -hmm. do you just still kind of just go on your steady pace, or what? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just really just you know just like I, I'm I'm focused, but yeah. I'm also just going through the motions. Like I want to play well. I want to you know I make sure I prepare myself mentally each and every day, like whether it's practice a game to make sure you know. How, is, how soon so. after is the draft from the tournament? Like two weeks. Right, it's yeah. right after, right? Yeah, so it's like... And then when does the season start? Probably three weeks after that. For real? Yeah. Like, training camp a week after the draft. Like, it happens. The process of it happens. Damn. Mm -hmm. So if you win a national championship, you can't even really enjoy <laughs> it. It's like right back to work. Yeah, you got to get right back to work. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So did you, did you know you were going to get drafted? Like, did you... You had a pretty good... Um, idea of where you're gonna go and stuff? No, I have no, no idea. idea. No. Were so, you talking? To, did you you guys don't do workouts and stuff? Mm -hmm. Obviously, because it's so short. I talked to one coach. Who was that? Santonio. San oh, okay. When I was and um, that was about it. I'm oh two coaches. I'm sorry, Santonio San and Seattle. Seattle. And then Becky Hammond was there. C 
no. Oh, okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, yeah. So talk to them and. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Showed up to the draft. Like, who's right. going to choose me? Like, Did you go to the draft night? Yeah. How was so that I experience? So out of 10 people, 10 people got invited to the draft. I was one of them. So. Oh, that's what's up. How was that experience? It was cool. It was in Connecticut. Um, it was fun. You take your family and stuff? Yeah, my friends and my family came. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. Um, and then you get drafted what number? Nine. Number nine. Mm-hmm. That's dope. To the Liberty. How was that? Were you excited to go to New York? Mm-hmm. I always wanted to, like, play it. In New York, really? Yeah, I want to go to I want to go to uh, Rutgers. Uh, yeah, I remember you telling mm-hmm. me that. I want to always I want to go to black Rutgers. coach, so black coach, black woman. Um, that would have been dope. Yeah, so that would have been dope. Yeah. What um? So how was that first time moving away from home, right? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Technically, because technically, yeah, it was cool. Mom wasn't it. nervous. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a little bit more nah, responsible. Yeah, probably. Uh-huh. yeah. I have fun. Like. I was in really good hands with my teammates that I had coming in my rookie year. I had fun. How is that, like, the the whole living in New York as a WNBA mm-hmm. player? Do you feel like you're somebody, or do mm-hmm. you feel like it's so much going on out here? It's like, I'm just here. I mean, it's so much going on. I'm just here, but it's also people do know. If you know who the Liberty mm-hmm. New York is, you know, know who the Liberty is. Right. Um... I mean, the Knicks been so terrible. So yeah, I guess they so look they're for like, and they always be like, "Well, y'all the only hope for <laughs> right, like right. just driving around in New York." People that's like, what's up. Hunk at you, wave at you, like you know, you be in the hood over there. They be like, "Yo, you, you know." Oh, that's so what's up. What's it's love. love. Like it's it's really cool. The vibe out there is cool. That's what's up. So how was um you get drafted number nine? You go into training camp. How was that? Was it another adjustment or? Yeah, it was another. Was adjustment. it harder? It was way harder than really? college. Really? Did y'all run a lot? We didn't run a lot in it, but it was just like they was just coming. What you like mean? they're just like big, like yeah. fast, like run you over. Like Stronger. remember one time I tried to train to camp, I tried to drive to the rim. I'm thinking I have a wide open layup. Ran into a brick, ran into a body, <laughs> a brick wall, like and I was just like, damn, like it That's ain't right, that it's yeah. just you know, um, so it's just a totally different different experience. Um, so how did you play right away? I did. I actually started my first couple games. And then, and then how was that? It was cool. How was like, your first bucket? Were you super excited? Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it was just cool playing the Madison Square Garden. Yeah, so you, know? you guys do play there? Mm-hmm. We played oh, there the first up. couple of years and just walking in the arena, you know, like just got to go through, sec- you know, just, yeah, just yeah, yeah, fight. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you that's know. what's up. That's like a, that's a staple, mm-hmm. obviously, in basketball. Mm-hmm. How, um... How are you adapting to like your teammates? Now you're going back into not having to be a leader, but mm-hmm. you're the newcomer mm-hmm. coming in and have to happen to like follow a lead. How yep. was that? It was easy. easy. It was easy for me because just like I had probably the best leader in the WNBA ever. Like who was in that? Tanisha Wright. Okay. Like this, her voice is so powerful. Her knowledge of the game is so powerful, and mm-hmm. it's just like she wants well for you, you know. Um, and just having her there. Helping me, leading me, you know, guiding me. It was just, it made my transition that much easier. That's what's up. Um, it took care of me as a rookie, too. That's what's up. Know, so, um, so uh, was, the, was the game speed faster and stuff like that? Game was. speed was faster. Did you feel like you adjusted quick, or did it take you a little it while? Took, I mean, it took some time. I just, I mean, basketball is basketball. Right. You know, you're going to make, you got to make adjustments. But, um, you know, I figured it out. I um, film. But just like practice is different, you know, mm-hmm. just everything, treatment work, like everything mm-hmm. is different. Everything is more just Were the practices quicker. long? Some are long, some work. When some days will be in there an hour, some days will be there in three hours. It just all depends. So. How, how, long, how many games do they play in the full season in the WNBA? Probably like 30 something, 36. Because there's only six teams on each side, right? And mm-hmm. that was just it? Mm-hmm. How, so you like playing the same damn teams over and over. <laughs> That's not annoying? So you play like so they got it like they had it east and west so you play i think now they play in everybody three times two times home one time away and just flop it the next year mm. how was the rookie year overall do you think was it pretty it was cool it was good it was solid um i got made all rookie top, oh really top five that's what's up our rookie team so that was cool do you but remember yeah. who was on there with you me Kia, that was my teammate. Your teammate, right? Uh-huh. Jewel. No, I don't remember who else. 
All right, so how, how was that next year coming in? How was the offseason? Now you got your first year under your, mm -hmm. under your belt. Are you feeling more comfortable, obviously, coming into training camp? Yeah, I'm feeling a little comfortable. Um, but I'm also knowing, like, well, well, I mean, at that time, we were just trying to accomplish winning a championship. Or how, are you guys competing at this point? Yeah, at this point, we're competing. Like, we're, we have the... How far did you guys make players. it? And um, who was that? Tina. Like, oh, yeah, we Tina had the best Charles. player at that time, like, you know, dominating the game. Um, and we had shooters around her. We had pieces around her. You yeah. know, we just couldn't figure it out. Um, how, how far did you guys go your rookie year? We went to, like, the second round. Second round. Then they put that, like, one and done. You only get to play one game in the playoffs. And so it's not a series? The first round is one game. What's the point of that? Exactly. And so then the, after that, you play a series? Then the, after that, you play a series. So we oh, lost wow. in that first game. That's crazy. So how was that next year? Did you come? You came home for the summer or you stayed mm -hmm. in New York? I came home. Working now, just getting mm -hmm. ready? Mm -hmm. And then, um, no, I actually went to Poland. And then I came home, ended up coming back home early and then just worked out. How long, how long, so how the WNBA season starts when? In like May. May and yeah. ends in? Like September, October. And then you go overseas. Mm -hmm. And how long is that usually for? Till March, April? March, April, May. Damn. They don't stop. So y'all don't really get much breaks, huh? Mm -mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Why do you think they get more money overseas then? Yeah. That's, I don't know. I, never, I would be tired of I that shit. I never understood that question. I never yeah. understood, like, why? Maybe more money, maybe. I don't know. Like, yeah. So after Poland, did you play well out there? Did you guys win? Mm -hmm. Are you just, how was that? Are you, like, caring about winning this shit? Or are you just out yeah, there Yeah, I'm just, passing? you know, out there. You don't care. Okay. I really want to go home at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, really. I really want to go home because, like, I'm homesick. It's cold. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's only a gas station and a McDonald's. No. Oh, uh. And I'm like, I just want to go home, you know. And did you stick it out? No, I came back home. <laughs> How long were you? Did you stay I was out there, there for a month? That's a it. Month. Mm -hmm. And he just came home and worked out. Worked out. That's crazy. So then how was this next year going into that where you like, obviously training camp, you approach it a little mm -hmm. different. Yeah, so this time it's like, you know, I'm trying to solidify myself in this league. I'm trying to, you know, kind of get the keys to the car of this, mm -hmm. you know, this franchise and put in the work, put in the work. Um, went into that season, really good season. It's a really good start for me. Really best training camp I've probably had since I've been in the league. And this is my third year or my fourth year, third year. Third. Third. <laughs> She's saying second. No, I told her I could lose my third year. <laughs> um, yeah, so then come in that um come in that season my third year and second game end up tearing my Achilles, like fully ruptured. So then was I Was that super painful? It was. It felt like somebody kicked the shit out of me in the back of my foot. Everybody says that. Like and just So yeah, that happened and was that like stressful and shit? Cause like, damn, I'm finally. Yeah, it was. It was like, cause I'm finally like, you know, I'm getting my feet wet. I'm finally, you know, I'm figuring it doing out. Doing it, yeah, mm -hmm. doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and I can't even walk right now. You <laughs> yeah. feel me? Like I can't. They talk about twelve, nine to twelve months. It's like that's <sighs> a long ass time. Yeah. Did you have to get surgery? Mm -hmm. Damn. Does it still give you problems? It doesn't give me problems. It's just I'm not as strong. Yeah. I still gotta kind of get the girth back in that calf and that yeah. muscle. So, how long ago was this? Like, this is in twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Also, about <laughs> twenty eighteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think twenty eighteen. Um, so how was rehab and stuff? Was that was it? It was long. Was it painful? I tore my ACL and that was some of the worst shit of my life. I wouldn't wish that <laughs> wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah, like that's why like I won't wish like things. scar tissue wish. itself like yeah. kill me. I don't um that was any bad. injuries, like yeah. I don't I don't wish that on them. I wish Especially I, when it comes to surgery. Yeah, nobody gotta go through them. I gotta go through that rehab yeah. and just like mentally, physically, emotionally, like it's just a burden. And then your one release is hooping and you can't mm -hmm, even do you that. You can't do that. Yeah. So So how was coming back? You came back for your third year? My fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah, it was slow. Um, it was tough getting in shape and all of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really that tough getting in shape. It was just more so just like, 
explosiveness because I'm an explosive player. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So of just being able to push off, change directions, mm -hmm. um, you know, and not put all the the weight on my right side mm -hmm. um, and trying to figure out how to balance of using both legs instead of just one. So yeah, that makes sense. So fourth year you played. When was that? That was like you just played up to this last season, right? Mm -hmm. How was that? That was my fifth year. My fifth year? Mm -hmm. How that was, was that? It was cool. We weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, it was cool. It was just the experience of just being able to travel, meet new people, meet mm -hmm. teammates, having those moments with them, and just understanding that you're just building moments along the way. So, um, so how, how was it playing with yourself on 2K? It was cool. That I was still dope. liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was super it. excited when I saw that. Even though we didn't know each other mm -hmm. personally, obviously I knew of you. Yeah. And that was the first thing I did. Mm -hmm. I was like, let was, me. I thought that was cool. I'm so. a big fan of women's basketball. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when I saw that, I was like, oh shit, that's hard. Yeah. And then I saw like your picture and shit. Uh -huh. That was dope. <laughs> yeah, was dope. I, thought, I thought it was cool. Like, I was like, damn, I want a video. Again. <laughs> you know? That's hard. Um, so what's, what's next for you at this point? Um, right now I'm just training, training. Uh, just working out, um, wedding planning. Oh yeah, congratulations, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, dope. Yeah. How was that, is it stressful? It's cool, like, you know. You just... Are you gonna be like Bridezilla, or whatever they call it? No. Well, your friends are saying yeah, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> No, I just want things how I want things. When do you guys get, when is the date, do you know? Um, it's probably gonna be next year sometime. Oh, because obviously mm -hmm. what's going on. So. That's dope. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. It's working out, wedding planning, spending time with family, happy yeah. to be with family, you know. How do you feel about the whole situation that happened today with them, mm -hmm. like, postponing the season and yeah. the Bucks walking out in WNBA? Mm -hmm. That was super dope seeing them yeah. come out with the shirts and, mm -hmm. you know, that, I was at work like this, like, following the whole thing. Yeah. Um, no, I thought that was super cool. Um, I think I, from my experience and understanding what's been going on and... Like be actually being a part of that, mm -hmm. um, being part of something like that. Mm -hmm. So, in twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen, um, the New York Liberty, we had something like that a press conference where we didn't wear, we wore black t shirts, um, you know, and like what was going on. I think at the, t at the time it was Philando Castile. Oh, okay. Um, and you know, this is Tanisha Wright taking the lead, mm. giving a press conference and saying, you know, how we felt and what was on our mind. So just to see the Bucks do that and just the entire, you know, I feel like they organization. Feel, and right. they've probably been thinking about it. They've probably been talking mm -hmm. about it um, these last couple of days. It's been, it's been really tough, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Especially it, be, it being in their home state. Mm -hmm. like yeah, that and I it, think that makes even even a bigger impact also. The fact that um, Sterling Brown, he was mm -hmm. um, police, you know, right, right, right. brutalized by the police right. when they tased them right. and for parking illegally. Right. So he's a part of that team. So I know it said well, said well and big with that team. So um, yeah, that that whole situation was just. I don't watch none of that shit because mm -hmm. it would drive me into depression or something. But uh, yeah, that that seeing the Bucks do that and put that pressure on everybody else. Mm -hmm. Like at this point, it's like whoever decides to play, okay. whether it's the NFL, because mm -hmm. you see the tennis player. Mm -hmm. I was just actually in my car. I saw the d tennis player opted out too of whatever mm -hmm. now, base, open baseball, thing. Like, really? You, yeah, you're seeing a lot of. You're gonna. I feel like we're gonna start seeing like everybody they just following the suit. Just like you know. Yeah. So I think I think what it was is just a big step, and it's something that we haven't seen. Oh, well, I haven't seen like right. you know to be you know, living to be alive with yeah that's game. what I was saying I was just talk, saying that in our it's group chat game. like like you're gonna not show up to the playoff game so it's just like what they're speaking is volume mm -hmm. what they're speaking you know is just serious and people need to start listening mm -hmm. and creating a change that that needs to happen. It's kind of weird because now it's like damn you look back at what Kyrie was trying to do mm -hmm. and then. It's like he he seemed he looks right, but then I feel like them coming and then stopping in the playoffs kind of made it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you never want somebody to pass away or mm -hmm. not, or get shot because right. he's still alive. But the timing of it couldn't have been better because mm -hmm. leaving, like you said, the playoffs it makes a big a mm -hmm. huge stand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so well, congratulations. Um, obviously, thanks for getting this done. You know, yeah. with the yeah, hiccup. I know, right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, good luck with everything, you know, Thank continue you. to inspire and be, be great. Obviously people who don't know you are still watching you, mm -hmm. following your own career. So 
That's what's Definitely. up. Definitely, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. No problem.